Welcome to the Climate Collaboratory. As we walk day by day on the road to 2030, 2050 and beyond, we are building community in a changing climate. Our story begins in the year 2050 when the world is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Earth Charter. Hello, it's me, Great Grandma Sage, in the year 2050. We're celebrating quite a transformation in this first half of Earth Charter century. My great-grandchildren wanna know about the early years before we learned to live together as one human family and one Earth community with a common destiny. I remember way back in 2022, we met with friends in Alachua County, Florida. Pacha and Paco were making their video for a cult climate collaboratory, the musical. Today is June 13th when the UN Secretary General announces this year's theme for the International Day of Peace on September 21st. In 2019, he said, Every year on the 21st of September, the United Nations calls on all nations and people to put down their weapons and reaffirm their commitment to living in harmony with one another. Our theme, Climate Action for Peace, brings a clear message the global climate emergency is a threat to security and stability. This is the battle of our lives and a race against time. We can win and we must. This is serious stuff, but he said we can win and we must. We could make it a game that people will want to play to make a world that works for all living things. That's 100% of humanity and the community of life on earth, our home we can show how people right here in Alachua County, Florida are taking climate action for peace. Okay, during the 100 day countdown to the International Day of Peace, we'll need to find 100 people from 100 organizations, businesses, government and educational communities in Alachua County, Florida. We've got a good start with the Climate Collaboratory. Yeah, every individual and each organization has a climate story to tell. They can show ways that people of all ages can get involved in climate action for peace. That'll make a great video. We can show our progress through the year on different scoreboards in the Climate Collaboratory. We want our game to be so simple a child can play, but complex and enough to keep all ages engaged and profound enough that everyone will want to play. We can ask for stories and creative artworks to bring light and life to the principles of the Earth Charter. Here's how art students at Westwood Middle School did it. All people of Earth are part of one human family. People, plants, animals, soil, air, and water form one earth community. Planet Earth is part of an amazing vast universe. On this planet are many different kinds of plants, animals, and people all linked to one another in a complex web of life. All forms of life depend on one another and on earth, soil, air, and water. People have been waiting, I'm sorry, people have been wasting a lot of what they take from nature, plants, animals, water, metals, minerals. Some of these precious resources nature can replace, but it may take long time. Others irre irreplaceable. 
While some people have much more than they need, many, many others do not have enough food or clean water to stay healthy. Violence such as war destroys home, health, and life. All people must join together to care for the earth and for one another. Every person, every family, every group, every community can play a part. That's great. For our video, we'll need stories and creative artworks for the four themes of the Earth Charter. Hmm, respect and care for the community of life, ecological integrity, social and economic justice, democracy, nonviolence, and peace. But we won't stop there. In September, during We the World's 11 Days of Global Unity, we'll visit the Gardens of Global Unity. Each garden has a quotation from the Earth Charter. We'll invite all ages to submit creative artworks to show what those words mean to them. We are one human family and one Earth community with a common destiny, the Earth Charter. The protection of Earth's vitality, diversity, and beauty is a sacred trust, the Earth Charter. Recognize that peace is the wholeness created by right relationships with oneself, other persons, other cultures, other life, Earth, and the larger whole of which all are a part. Then in October, we launched the Global Goals Treasure Hunt, finding people who are living the UN Sustainable Development Goals. In January, we used the Global Goals as our blueprint for a world house where the human family learns to live together in peace. And in April, our production of Climate Collaboratory, the musical, will include 100 organizations at 100 booths at the Global Nature Fest in Alachua County. The community-wide celebration will include live and online events. The virtual celebration will include people from around the world sharing their own local stories and creative artworks. Children and adults from the Star Center Theater helped us make trailer videos for the Climate Collaboratory. The musical, to invite the whole community into our collaborative storytelling adventure. For Earth Day next year, we can put together our climate stories and creative artworks, like the different notes that make up a song, a song of climate action for peace. That'll make a great video. Yeah, by 2025, we wanna see Climate Collaboratory, the musical performed at the Phillips Center for the performing arts with an interconnected global audience of climate collaborators who will have their own local stories to tell. Okay, Pacha, the dreamer, that's the vision. Here and now is the reality. Our job during the 100 day countdown to the International Day of Peace is to get out there and identify 100 individuals representing 100 organizations that are helping to make a world that works for all living things. That's 100% of humanity and the community of life on earth. This is our home. And we need to create a vision of what we want to see on the International Day of Peace on September 21st, 2022. <sighs> I wonder what born in a cloud would say. Let me ask. Breathing in, breathing out, calling on board in a cloud to bring the wisdom of the ages. 
Can you see me now? Yes. Uh, Good to uh, see well, you. Well, I'm here. And uh, yeah, we want to do this. We want to listen that we live in this time of great peril and great promise. So it's time to remember. Remember now that peace has been promised through all the centuries of the human journey on this earth walk. Listen to the story now and you will know what to do. The time has come for building a community in a changing climate. And the rest is history. On June 13th, we began the 100 day countdown to the International Day of Peace and put out our vision of what we wanted it to look like and invited people of all ages in Alachua County and the world to celebrate a day when all nations and all people put down their weapons of war and learn to live together in peace on and with the earth. It just so happens that right here in Alachua County, we will celebrate the International Day of Peace on September 21st. Let's hear from some of the people who are planning that. Barbara, Gordon. Hi, I uh, represent and on uh, today, welcoming Gainesville and Alachua County. And we will be a part of the International Day of Peace in celebration of Welcoming Day. It's the 10th anniversary of Welcoming Week and Welcoming Day uh, put on by Welcoming America. And so far we have about 20 organizations who will collaborate on this effort. And we're really looking forward to it. Pamela Coons. Thank you so much. We're looking forward on the International Day of Peace of a Sunrise event on the grounds of the Gainesville Technology and Entrepreneurship uh, Center in East Gainesville. We are also encouraging all to participate in a walk, a peace walk, our theme is peace takes practice and our hope and our goal is to help the individual to know that peace starts with the man in the mirror, the eyes in the mirror, that we develop peace within and as we're walking out in nature every day leading up to September 21st, that we will have a greater appreciation for our oneness with everything that exists around us and our responsibility in taking care of it. Thank you, Pamela, at the Wellness Radio and TV. And now from Helen Warren, United Church of Gainesville and Interfaith Climate Group, Building Community in a Changing Climate. There we go. Yeah, I'm very excited that during the next 100 days, uh, the community of Building Community in a Changing Climate will be hosting several opportunities for speakers and movies and activities where people can come together to talk about ways that they can help this planet um, make those adaptations to be a better planet as climate change shows itself in so many different ways. Thank you. And Sue Blythe, Baha'is of Alachua County and Interfaith Climate Group. Oh yes, uh, I am with the uh, Interfaith Climate Group, and we are uh, hosting a pilot project with We the World and a growing number of organizations, some of which you've seen on our screen earlier, some of which we are going to be collecting from uh, Barbara and the uh, different organizations that are already involved with the uh, International Day of Peace celebration. And we will be looking for many more because we want to get a hundred organizations signed up that we can work with through the year to help the children play this game from the Climate Collaboratory in space. And uh, we've got quite a story to tell that will end in the uh, Climate Collaboratory, the musical in April for Earth Day next year. And so we have just lots of things in store and we are very excited to have all of you with us on the road to 2030, 2050 and beyond. 
And I'd like to welcome everyone who has come as part of our audience. And if you would, just please turn your uh, videos on at this time so we can get your thoughts about how you might want to be involved in the uh, International Day of Peace. Anyone coming in? I would like to hear from Darwin, who's over in Zambia and is part of our global network of support. And he has uh, worked with children and has done a lot of work with the United Nations, going to uh, different meetings around the world and helping to uh, get... Uh, Darwin, why don't you come in, please, with your video, if you can, and uh, tell us a little about what you're involved in over there. So, uh, like Sua said, I'm Darwin Malwele. I'm based in uh, Africa, Zambia, to be precise. Yeah, so I've involved myself, I've been involved in the work of climate for quite some time now. Um, I spearhead uh, a non-profit uh, organization, which I formed, Earth Guardian Zambia, yeah, where we do different types of uh, climate actions, trying to like fight uh, climate change and be a voice for the environment. And also I'm leading, uh, I'm leading uh, an organization, which I found a branch here in Zambia, which is based in the UK, uh, Stop Ecocide International, where we are trying to work with uh, different countries, uh, with different uh, politicians, as well as uh, government uh, of the day, where we want to like, uh, where we are campaigning for ecocide to be recognized by the UN as an international fifth crime. Yeah, yeah. so we have been pushing this. We are putting everyone, getting everyone on board we want the UN to recognize the destruction of the environment as the fifth international crime, what, which we are calling stop ecocide and ecocide. Yeah, so basically, this is what we are current, what I'm currently working on. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for all you're doing in the world. Uh, climate action for peace in a big way. And thank you so much for being here today. And here you are on video. Glad to see you, Darwin. So let's ask uh, Beth Bowen. You're you're new to all this, and I just wanted to get your feelings about uh, what you've seen today and how you might want to plug in for the uh, International Day of Peace. Well, thank you. Yes, it's, can you hear me first of all? Yes. Oh, my name is Beth Bowen. Yes, this is my first, my introduction to Climate Collaborative. And it sounds like a fantastic group and a, a great goal. I am definitely for peace. I, um, I am an advocate for one planet, all communities, all peoples, all ages, and that we all work together and work on it. So I come to you and I represent K-12 outcomes. We are a non, we, I am, it's one person, I'm a sole proprietor. I, but I do work with others. So I guess I should say we. We, uh, we are an education-based nonprofit and we advocate for public, for tutoring in the public school. Tutoring is one of the best learning interventions in, in all of K through 12. And so what we'd like to do, not all families can afford tutoring. You know, many of the families that have more resources can send their children to private tutoring, but um, families that can't afford it then lose out. So as we know with the pandemic, there's this wide gap of learning loss or what I like to call unfinished learning. And so tutoring is a way to, um, you know, to close the gap, it's to help students um, know, gain the learning that they need to meet standards for their grade level. We know that when students 
um, go to tutoring sessions three to five days a week that they, and over the course of a year, they can gain like two years of learning in that time. So it's a very powerful intervention and not um, that expensive. You know, public schools can definitely provide this to their students. So I'm just getting this off the ground. And, um, and, and what I've noticed is that there's a lot of players in the ecosystem in education. And so, um, you know, it's the same idea. It's getting us all together on the same page and working together for a common goal, just like you're doing. So maybe I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. It's a great goal. And we hope we can help uh, mobilize uh, the mentors and, and uh, tutors for your programs. And uh, so, yeah, good. And uh, Frank Narabi is here. You want to just check in with us? How, how are you looking at this International Day of Peace, Climate Action for Peace? 